do have family obligations but love the thrill of the drive, Audi has a potential solution. On this edition of Test Drive, the S3. The Audi S3 is based on Volkswagen's transverse MQB platform. It underpins everything from the Golf to the TT. However, this is arguably the best use of it to date. It is balanced and has enough room for a family of four. What goes unspoken is that the family facade hides the heart of a racer. That pretty much sums up the S3. Audi have earned a reputation for building quality interiors and this S3 is absolutely no exception. Wonderful seats, nice flat bottom steering wheel and the infotainment system. You don't need a PhD in computer babble to be able to operate it. I just wish the screen was touch sensitive. That aside, there was one thing that really did irk me. Why? Audi make a lot of money selling cars. Why they have to Mickey Mouse around with these silly specialty cables is beyond me. Whatever happened to a good old fashioned USB? While the S3's 2.0-litre turbocharged 4 is based on the A3's engine, it is markedly different. Along with a new turbocharger and many internal upgrades comes a more rewarding 292 horsepower, which is up 72, and 280 pound-feet of torque at 1900 RPM. Not only is the delivery of power fast, it arrives in a silky smooth fashion with only a hint of turbo lag off the line. This brings speedy performance. The S3 runs from rest to 100K in 4.9 seconds, and it eclipses the 80 to 120 passing move in 4.2 seconds. Drive Select allows you to tune this S3 to your liking. Now there are four settings, I ended up using two. Individual was my city mode. I set the steering and the suspension to comfort and the other things to dynamic. That was a perfect city car for my tastes. When a twisty road beckoned, you simply go in, pick dynamic and go and have fun. The only box offered is Audi's six-speed twin-clutch transmission with manual and sport modes. It delivers split-second shifts and does a great job of finding the right gear, which helps overall performance. In manual mode, the paddle shifters bring a stirring blip on downshifts, which spurs the driver onward. This transmission is teamed with Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system. It remains one of the best around, limiting wheel spin and putting the power down regardless of the road or weather conditions. It also benefits from Audi's brake-based torque vectoring system. The back seat of this S3 is up to class standards, and it's true, if you're six foot two or more, you wouldn't want to sit back here, but for young adults, it works very nicely. When you get around to the back, it's more of the same. 390 litres of cargo space, 40, 20, 40 split folding rear seats, and I like the fact that these hinges have been boxed in, so when you shut the deck lid, you don't crush anything beneath them. Where the S3 truly shines is the manner in which it handles. The ride height has been dropped by 25 mil compared to the A3. This not only hunkers down the look, it does some very good things for the handling, especially when the optional magnetic ride control suspension is aboard. In comfort, the ride is cosseting and the roll controlled. Dial things up to dynamic and the amount of body roll is measured in minutes rather than degrees. Through the pylons, it put on a stellar showing. Dial in steering and the S3 moves quickly without feeling twitchy. Likewise, the larger brakes bring a speedy stop to the proceedings without running into fade. It all ups the dynamism of the drive. You know, this S3 really is a very sweet ride. There's enough room for a family of four and the driver, well, he has fun, fun, fun. At the end of the test drive, I was left with one question. Why would anybody buy an A4 when you can buy this S3? The price differential, really not a whole pile in it. However, the fun factor, it's vastly superior with this car.